Colt New Frontier is back. Uh, we looked at them briefly at Shot Show, got to shoot one a little bit, uh, and uh, I've been really anxious to see this gun. Uh, you know, uh, Colt came out with a new Frontier back about 1961. Uh, it was the new Frontier. They they really they took the single action army to its apex. What they did, they uh, they flat topped the frame, added a better sight to it, finished it beautifully, and uh, anyway, just made it a lot better. A lot easier to shoot, easier to shoot accurately, uh, and a better hunting gun. But anyway, uh, as I said, the uh, New Frontier, it was last produced, I believe, around, uh, oh, somewhere around 1980. They, they, they started trickling out of the factory at that time, and, and they've pretty much been gone ever since. But now, for uh, 2011, Colt brought back the uh, New Frontier, and they did a fine job on it. This gun is finished just uh, finished and fitted really tight. It's a really well made gun. It's got the high polish royal bluing on the barrel, trigger guard, grip frame, and cylinder. And uh, it's got some beautiful case hardening colors on the frame around the cylinder. It's got the Colt Elison rear sight, which is a real improvement over the rear sight on my older uh, New Frontier. Uh, the rear side is fully adjustable for windy gen elevation. Uh, the rear of it's serrated, got a good square notch, gives you a good sight picture combined with this ramp front sight, which is also serrated. Uh, here on the inscription on this, uh, Cole's got their 175th anniversary inscription on it, 1836-2011, 175th anniversary. This particular new Frontier is Chamber 44 Special. It's one of my favorite cartridges. Uh, these guns are also available chamber for the 45 Colt and the 357 Magnum in addition to the 44 Special cartridge. Um, anyway, of course, it's a six shot uh, like all the single action army design. It's got the old action. There's no key locks in it. There's no uh, anything in there. So you need to carry it with an empty chamber under the hammer like it did in the old days. The proper technique for loading it like that, you pull it to half cock, have your loading gate open. You load one. Skip the next chamber, load the next four, and then close your loading gate, bring it to full cock, and you let your hammer down on the empty chamber. That way, if you happen to drop it or anything, lands on the hammer, it's not going to go off, shoot a hole in your leg. Just uh, on the target range, doesn't matter, but for carrying every day and all, that's the way you carry a Colt. Anyway, uh, glad to see Colt bring this back. It's a genuine Colt. The, the Colts I've seen in the last few years are made as good as anything they've ever made. In my opinion, the ones I've seen and handled, they shoot good, they're fitted precisely. This has got a nice, tight, consistent barrel cylinder gap of four one thousandths. Uh, it's got plain walnut grips on it, which uh, is a real plain grain. Uh, it's got a light finish on it, but it looks almost like it has no finish at all. These are just like Colt made the New Frontiers years ago. You know, they took the most beautiful gun that they made and put uh, plain grips on it. You know, these guns deserve a better, fancier grip, I think, and I think most people do that to it. Uh, all my other old Colts, I do that too. I get stag or some fancy walnut put on it. These will also get some, but anyway, grips are easy to change, and it's a real easy way to personalize a gun. But uh, anyway, this is just a finely fitted, finely finished, dandy Colt New Frontier, and I'm glad to see it back in production. I got this uh, Colt New Frontier stoked up with some of... Uh, Buffalo bore, uh, 255 grain semi wide cutters, classic Keith style bullet, which is ideal for a gun like this. This gun handles it well. Uh, Tim's not afraid to load his up, but it's still safe enough to use in any modern 44 special. It shoots at uh, 255 out of here at about 1124 feet per second average out of this five and a half inch barrel. It's a good hunting load, good defensive load, good all around load. 